To attach the fold over elastic for the crisscross option, we'll start with the fold over elastic and the bottom of the bra. And we're going to apply the fold over elastic to the wrong side of the bra, like so. Now there's lots of different techniques for applying fold over elastic. This is the technique that's listed in the pattern and I like it, it works for me. The reason I like it is because I can make sure and line up the very edge of the bra with the center line on the elastic and you can see where the center line is. Um, and so we'll be putting the inside, the part that won't show against the wrong side of the bra. And then later on, we'll fold it closed and stitch again. So starting at the very bottom, I just line up the bottom edge of the bra with the bottom edge of the fold over elastic. I'm using a zigzag stitch with a slightly lengthened stitch. to that center fold mark on the fold over elastic. I'm going to get up to this corner and make sure my foot is down and then I'm going to lift and rotate the bra. And I'm using my left hand to line up and hold Stretching it rather slightly. Not a ton, but a little. When I get to the end, I'll measure. The tutorial says to add eight to nine inches, which is the amount that you should add for a normal length. The bra is drafted for five foot seven inches. I'm five foot three inches, and I know from experience that I always have to shorten my straps, so I'm only gonna cut seven inches extra beyond the strap. Okay. Now we can go back and fold this closed. And stitch it again. Now on this stitch when you fold it closed you want to be very careful and make sure that your needle comes as close to this edge open edge of the fold over elastic as possible. You want your stitch to come right up to that edge if you stitch away from the edge, then pretend my thumbnail is the stitch holding the elastic closed. Over time, this elastic will sort of flop open like that, and it can even do so down here on your bra, and it'll stick open, and it won't look as neat. So you want to take your time, go slowly, follow the guides on your foot, and make sure your stitch your zigzag stitch goes right up to that edge. Take your time. Um, you, you noticed I changed my settings. For the first pass, I had a slightly lengthened stitch. 3.0 and for the second pass through I just put my stitch back to what it automatically is set which I believe is 
2.0 stitch length. So I have the fold over elastic stitched to one inside of the bra. The next thing we'll do is stitch it along the back. I'll start out by measuring the length that goes along the back. Hi Malcolm. I'm Mark in here. And then I'll start attaching it at that point. Again, using the same technique. I've made my way over to the other strap, so I will measure my seven inches, eight to nine inches for you, or whatever you need for your strap length. shut just like we did on the first strap. Set my zigzag stitch back to the default length. Ew. I'm going to stitch from the other side because I prefer watching my stitch on the right side of my foot. If that makes sense. Let's start here. Okay, so now we're going to stitch the other side of the strap closed. Again, just making sure that needle is going to the edge of the fold over elastic. When you get to the end of the strap here, the elastics come together and touch. I can pull it open and show you 
that's where the fabric ends, but when they just sit normally, when you wear them, they'll be pulled in. It just looks like the fabric just disappears into the elastic. Isn't that cool? So I've done one inside and then along the um, outside underarm, across the back to the other strap. And then all is left is the other inside or center front rather elastic. So go ahead and do that with the same exact strategy. Now that we've attached all the fold over elastic to the strappy back version, we need to attach those to the back. You'll need your pattern piece again if you haven't already marked the dots on the back. If you did, they're probably on the wrong side and you can't see them. So the way I do it is I just take my bra and I fold it in half using the cups seam as my marker. Okay, fold it this way. And then I take the pattern piece and lay it on the fold. And these two dots are my strap placement markers. I can more easily mark with these clips one-handed, so I'll start out by marking with the clips. All right, then we'll turn the bra upside down so that the right side of the front is laying down on the table and the right side of the back is up towards you. And bring the straps over and you're gonna pin them in whatever configuration you want. I like pinning, alternating. Okay. And you'll just pin to the inside of the elastic. And where you're going to you're going to stitch through both pieces of elastic when you attach the straps. But before you do all the stitching, you will want to do a basting stitch and try it on. Hopefully I've not been working out of camera. And the last one. And you may need to adjust the length of the straps. For example, I I crisscrossed mine over, so maybe the ones on the inside will need to be shortened. And that's something that you can figure out when you try it on. So, yeah, I think, I'm pretty sure on mine, the straps that go towards the inside will need to be shortened a bit because they don't go quite as far. But after you try it on and get it just right, Then you'll baste them and try it on again, make any adjustments, and then you'll do a final stitch with a bar tack right across the top of this elastic right there. So I'm gonna go try my mine on and see how I like it. 